when petty people get into relationships or get married, it looks a little something like what we're about to see. What is up you guys? I am Joss. We keep it classy on this channel and we keep it a whole lot of sassy. So if that interests you, subscribe, keep hanging out. My passive aggression to get my husband to do his chores has reached new petty heights. They emailed him <laughs> with the subject line. It's actually an invitation, like one of those Google Meets invitations. Empty dishwasher at Friday, May 1st, 2020 at 3 p.m. PDT. <laughs> he emailed back, you effing biatch. <laughs> oh, I need to write this one down. I need to write this down. Take a mental note, because that is hilarious. Someone tweeted, it has been a whole year since my first love died. Damn, I miss you, girl. And, oh, and they tagged them. They wrote back, Pretty gal, roll back. Don't be telling people I'm dead. <laughs> the f Sometimes it still feels like she be commenting on my post. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is that is beyond petty. That is a whole other level and category of petty. I got a headache from laughing because my sinuses hurt today. My girlfriend pissed me off today, so I'm buying her the doll she hates on Amazon right now. <gasps> oh, the Annabelle doll. She's only $99. Obviously, it's not the real Annabelle doll, but like, mm. Mm. it should be illegal to sell stuff like that. Come on now. Come on. You never know. You never know, right? Like, I like to think that stuff's fake, but like, you never know. My boyfriend pissed me off. So now I'm eating all the expensive salami in the fridge. Ooh. Mmm. Yeah, that could get someone going. That could get someone going. Or eating their leftovers. That's the level of petty I might go to to piss somebody off. When they like purposely leave leftovers in the fridge and then you eat it and then they went, they go to have it because they're so excited and it's gone. My husband pissed me off, so I logged into his beer rating app and gave a bunch of mediocre beers five star reviews. <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> that is so random. Beer rating app? For what? <laughs> What does that do? Is that like a hobby? My wife ate the last donut this morning, so I went in her car and readjusted the driver's seat and mirrors. <laughs> oh yeah, that's annoying. That's annoying. Honestly, I feel like men get more annoyed by that though. Like, like their cars and their trucks and like, I feel like that weighs heavier on them, right? Like just from experience, you know, with dating men, like, I don't know, I feel like my boyfriend would be more annoyed if I went in his truck and like and readjusted. Whereas if he did in my car, I'd be like, whatever. My boyfriend asked me what I wanted to eat and I said, I don't know, and this is what he brings me. Oh man, I can't even tell you what a rage this would send me into. And I am one of those annoying girls. I'm like, I don't know, but it's like, I totally know. I know what I want. I totally know what I want because you're gonna name three things that I'm gonna be like, no, I don't want that because there is something that I know that I want or what I'm in the mood for. But this would just annoy me so much, even though I would deserve it. You don't wanna date me is what I'm saying. <laughs> Everybody out there, say a prayer for my boyfriend. Husband pissed me off tonight, so I gave him button up PJs for his birthday. <laughs> button up PJs? What's wrong with button up PJs? Oh, for the baby, uh, the Joss. I thought it said birthday. No, for the baby, bro. Okay, that construction noise that you hear. Thanks, neighbor. Um, I used to work in childcare, and I used to work with babies, toddlers, everything. Parents would send them in these onesies that had 19 buttons from their toes all the way up to their neck, because you basically had to take it off the baby just to change his diaper and put the whole thing back on again. It's like when adults, like girls, when we were rompers, and you go out and you're like, oh my God, I have to take this off. I have to be naked just to pee. You know, we, we get it. Me, you're mad at me, wife. No, not even sure why you would say that. Me, I can tell by the sound of you putting the plates away. Wife, F you and F those plates. <laughs> Me, there it is. <laughs> yeah, you know they're pissed when they're like cursing out objects. 
<laughs> like, what did the plates do to you? What did the plates do to you? Yeah, women, we really need to stop, like, you know, getting mad that men aren't mind readers. <laughs> we gotta be real. I've done it a million times. Like, you should know that I'm mad. You should know why I'm mad. Like, that is so unfair. <laughs> It really doesn't even make logical sense. <laughs> All right, I know it sounds mean, but when I'm mad at my wife and I want to lash out, I'll put a whisk in the spatula drawer when I'm emptying the dishwasher. Oh, that's cruel. That is cruel, that is cruel. I hate that. Ooh, I hate when doors get stuck and you're, you're shoving your arm in there trying to figure out what is causing it to be stuck in it. Bro. I've lost a few, a few things because I am just one of those people with no patience, clearly, and I'll grab a drawer and I will break whatever is in the way. I don't care. I'll, I'll buy a new one because I have no patience. I'm just a treat. I let my wife know I'm mad at her by wearing outfits she doesn't like. <laughs> and this one, I don't know. Is this a thing? Is this a thing? I don't, I've never told, like... I don't know, I don't feel like it's my place to tell my boyfriend if I like his outfit or what outfits of his I don't like. That's not very, oh no, oh no, no. He has this one shirt and I had to let him know that it was absolutely horrific. Oh my God, I'll never forget when he rolled up to my house in that one time and I was like, is this a practical joke? You guys, I, like I can't even describe it. It was like this t-shirt and it was like kind of Hawaiian vibes. Not really though, like it was off. And there's pelicans on it. I would never tell him not to wear it. I was just honest. I was like, listen, I just gotta let you know how I'm feeling about that. <laughs> My husband pissed me off today. So I told him that I can't wait to see what he had planned for our special day tomorrow. There's nothing special about tomorrow, but there is something special about watching the color leave his face as the panic takes over. <gasps> Cruel. Cruel. I feel like it would only work on some people though. Because I'm so organized. Like I'm one of those people who have an agenda. Like literally a day-to-day -day agenda, checklist, every day. Every single day. I live by it. So even if someone tried to pull this on me, I'd be like, yeah, right. Like, yeah, right. I would have scheduled that in. The girl I used to go out with is still using my Netflix and that's cool. She's watching Scandal and is currently on season seven, episode 12. Series finale is season seven, episode 18. Guess who's changing her password as soon as she gets to episode 17. <gasps> yup, it's Petty LaBelle. I would cry. I would cry. That, that might just be the cruelest one yet, depending on the season and what show. Scandal, I don't watch Scandal, but like, that would be painful. One show that I was so heavily invested in was Squid Game. Like, I, it was sick how, how I binge watched that. I watched it twice. Me as a petty girlfriend. Kitty, my laptop don't recognize the Wi-Fi. What was the password? My middle name, then the year I was born. If you've been paying attention to me, then you'll get your Wi-Fi. It's very saucy too though, I kinda like it. <laughs> like as a joke, like tell them about, like, you know, give it to them, but like, that'd be funny to like start like that. When your ex writes you an apology letter, so you grade it to send it back. I give you props for writing an apology letter. I feel like my lazy ass would type that if anything. So kudos to you. I need to like zoom in. I wanna see if I can see any of their notes. Nah, it's too blurry. Oh, it's too blurry. What was the final rating? I don't know. All I see is at the end it says, good luck. <laughs> yeah, what a way to go out. I absolutely love this. What a way to finish off the video, you guys. All right, I'm getting out of here. Stay classy out there. Stay sassy. Stay a little bit petty, you know? A healthy amount of petty. I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> see you tomorrow.